Hi, this is Andy from GPS Training. In this video, we're just giving you a tip on when you're using Garmin Basecamp planning software on a computer and you're using it with the very latest Garmin Topo Great Britain version 3 Pro 1 to 25 map card. Customers have noticed that sometimes when you use this new version 3 1 to 25 map card, when it's directly in your GPS device and connected to Basecamp software, that the maps can be a little bit slow sometimes to load and move around. How can we make that quicker? What we found is if you take the micro card out of your unit, so I'm using a GPS map 67i here today, so I've actually got the little rubber slot on the side of the unit where the micro card is. You may have a different unit where the micro card is behind your battery in the back of the unit. But if I take that card out and actually put it in a card reader, so if you're lucky enough to have a computer that has a micro card reader in it already, I've actually got a micro card reader on the side of my unit. If you haven't got a micro card reader, but your computer has a large SD card adapter reader, what's nice inside the packet from Garmin with the version 3 Pro map card, we will have installed your micro card in your unit for you, but you do have an SD card adapter inside this packet. So you can take the micro card out of your GPS device, put it in the adapter in this cardboard packet and use it in an SD card um, reader on your computer. Another solution is we actually stock these at GPS training. We have this little USB memory card device that will read SD cards or micro cards. And the nice thing is if I take the caps off the end, it has a USB A connection and a USB-C connection. So depending on what connections you've got on your computer, could be a Windows or a Mac computer. I'm actually using a Windows computer here today. I actually have USB-C and USB-A, so I've got both choices. So what I'm gonna do on the side of this, it's got the micro card reader. So I'm actually gonna take out of the side of my unit, little rubber flap, I'm just gonna open up and put my fingernail in so the micro card pops out. So I've got the little micro card. When I put it back in, I make sure I put it back in the same way with the gold pins facing towards the screen of the GPS device. So I'm going to take this card and put it in the adapter. So I'm just going to put it in the adapter. I'm assuming it'll only go in one way. If I try and put it in the other way, I'm just going to see if it, yeah, it's not going to allow it to go in. So it'll actually only go in one way. There were some instructions, if I remember, in with the packet, but it's showing you which way that goes in. So it's actually got the gold pins facing down away from the model, um, the, the actual text on the top of the card reader. So that is the micro card in there. So I've got USB-A or USB-C to connect to the computer. So I'm just going to connect that now. I'm going to actually use the USB-C connection. So on the side of my computer I have, I'll just turn it around, I have a USB-C. I'm going to plug that in to there. Just turn it back round. It's actually got a blue light flashing on the card reader and I can see now on my Basecamp software it's starting to load the maps. So what I can actually do is go to my maps menu. I'm using a Windows computer. On a Mac you have a maps menu as well along the top and it gives you all the maps that I've got available. So with the 1 to 25 Ordnance Survey map card from Garmin, the new version 3 one, we've got all these different regions. You see East Anglia, East Midlands, London and South East. I've got the North East one selected at the minute, North West Isle of Man, South West, West Midlands. I'm going to ignore some of my sample maps. We've got Scotland Central East, Scotland North and Islands, Scotland South East, Scotland Southwest and Wales. So I've got the North East England one selected and on my map I'm just going to move it around and I'm actually just going to zoom in using, if you've got a scroll wheel on a mouse you can use the scroll wheel on the mouse. I'm just tapping on the plus and minus at the top of the map and you can see now I've got a map and it's moving really quick so I can whiz around on that map nice and quick. So I find that a lot quicker than when it's reading the maps directly from the GPS device. 
If I now want to plant some roots, I can plant my roots, but if I'm ready to send them to the GPS device, of course, I still need to connect my GPS device to the computer using the USB cable that was supplied with. I've already got the cable in the side of my computer, so I'm just going to turn the GPS device around and plug my cable into the back of the unit. I've got the message on the screen of the 67i saying it's detected that I'm using MTP. Depending on the device you've got, you may not get this, this message where you've got to press enter on yes. It may just go straight to the trident symbol, which is the three prong sort of fork symbol that shows that it's connected to the computer. Sometimes you just need to give it a minute or two to fully connect. So I'll just give that a chance to connect on the actual Basecamp software. Because I've tried to connect the device with the software already open, I normally recommend you have the software um, closed before you connect. I'm just going to close that box down, that error box. That's just said it wasn't transferring information. It's just while the device was connecting. So now that the GPS device, you might not be able to see this, but it's got a Garmin logo with a three-pronged fork icon, the Trident symbol. And if I actually go back to Basecamp software, I can see when I scroll up and down this box, on a Mac computer, you have it in a slightly different order. You have your GPS device at the top and the maps underneath. But on this one, I can see, I've got all my maps and I can see my GPS map 67i. That has the preloaded topoactive European maps. So I can still go to my maps menu and select the European map. I'm going to select the West England, sorry, West European one, should I say. So I can now move around on the topoactive map nice and quick. I can go back to the maps menu and then pick my England Northeast one and move around nice and quick. So plan my route, send it to the device, and then when you're finished, all I need to do I tend to close the software down, I'd always recommend on a Mac, definitely close the software down. And on a Mac, you eject your devices. The Windows computer, I'm just happy. I've closed the software down now. I'm going to take out my micro card reader out of the left hand side. I'm going to unplug my GPS device. And then what I'm going to do is take the card back out of the reader. So make sure you always put the card back in your GPS device. With the 67i, the 67 and the 66i, you put it with the gold pins facing towards the screen side. So in the slot, you make sure it's pushed in properly. It's not sticking out, so you push it right in. You'll feel that it's gone in. If I push it again, it'll click out. Push it in to go in. And then I'm just going to turn my unit on. And then I'd always recommend you turn your unit on and then when your unit comes on you can just go to the map screen just to make sure your ordnance survey maps are loading okay and you've definitely got the map card in okay so actually just turn this one round now i've got my ordnance survey map card back into the device and turned on with the ordnance survey maps so we've got we've actually got these memory card sort of adapters in stock on our gps training store under accessories you'll find we have the memory card adapter available if you haven't got a memory card slot on your Mac or Windows computer. I hope you found this video useful just on a way you can speed up your maps loading when you've got the brand new or the, the very latest one. It came out in January 2024, the Topo GB version 3 Pro 1 to 25 map card from Garmin. And thanks for watching.